Hey everyone, and welcome to the February release demo. Apologies for the video silence recently. We've been snowed under with recruitment, building the world's most developer friendly local platform, as well as welcoming over 16,000 new companies to, to body based. Today, I've got four new features that I'm going to show you, plus a quick look at our new documentation and a swift gander at some of the new templates. First of all, we've released our new public API. The new API allows you um, access to a full API interface where you can perform um, CRUD operations on applications, rows, users, and much more. This also comes with uh, an open API 3 specification that you can import directly into Postman and other platforms. So to summarize, the, the new BuddyBase API enables BuddyBase as a backend, extending apps and interoperability. We've also added further written documentation um, exploring how to find your API key, getting the OpenA specification and using all of this with, with Postman. On top of that, we've also created a guide and an example around building a CRUD app with BuddyBase and Next.js. Um, and to accompany that, we've also added the example to our main GitHub repository. The next new feature that I would like to show you, um, is the ability to add bindings to your automations. So as you can see here, we can now um, choose between using values and using bindings. And this is important as this will allow you to manipulate data using handlebars and JS within your automations. Another new feature. And this is one that personally I've been waiting for, for a long time. Um, it's an update to the table component. The table component is one of our most heavily used components. And if I'm quite honest, an update was long overdue. With this update, you, uh, you have much more customization in regards to columns. Um, so as you can see here. Um, I can open up the configure columns short and we can customize the look and feel of each column, um, by, for example, increase the alignment. Um, I can in here and possibly change the value. The board functions to that value. Um, as well as the background color, I think we'll go with a nice teal, feels like a teal day. Um, a white background. So this should change this. And as you can see, we, we've been able to, uh, um, customize the look and feel of the total revenue call. Uh, one other thing we can also, um, drag and drop to reorder the columns as well. And last but not least. We have a few toggles here. For example, we can make the table more compact and we can also allow row selection. And this leads us nicely on to, um, our next new feature, which is the ability to export table data, um, to, to JSON and CSV files. Sorry, let's do it. Refresh this, um, and then like select the rows and then export the data. Success. We've also spent time moving our documentation to a new platform. This is the beginning of a major drive to improve documentation. Behind this drive is our new developer advocate, Rene, whom I'm sure you will all meet in the near future. Last of all, we've added a number of new body-based templates, 
So please do go in and check these templates out because they are absolutely incredible and well done to Roland for creating all these. And that's the wrap for the February release. Please go and try out the new features and we'll see you again next month. Bye.